reading from the prophecy of Isaiah at chapter 25, beginning to read at verse 1. This hymn of praise follows a long list of the consequences for many nations of not following God's will. It is a thanksgiving for God's help from those who have sought to keep his commandments. O Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things, thy counsels of old are, are faithfulness and truth. For thou hast made of a city an heap, of a defensed city, a ruin, a palace of strangers, to be no city, it shall never be built. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee, the city of the terrible nation shall fear thee. For thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall. Thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers as the heat in a dry place, even the heat with the shadow of a cloud, the branch of the terrible ones shall be brought low. And in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things, a feast of wines on the, on the lees, of fat things full of marrow, for wines on the lees shall be well refined. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death in victory and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all the faces of the re rebuked of his people. Shall he take away from all the earth? For the Lord has spoken it. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Let us pray. O Lord our God, you are a great God, swift to help those who call upon you. We pray that you will help all those who call upon you in faith. Amen. <laughs> 